Hi everyone, Will Heliwell here, aka Notion Dad. It has just gone midnight, and of course, I am playing with Notion and I'm updating my team workflow and project planning template. I've added this client tickets page. So, this will allow clients to raise their own tickets, and when they do, all the information that they've entered will get put straight into your tickets database. So, you don't have to faff around with any third party stuff, you just have this one form and your tickets will be in the same place as all the other tickets. So we're going to go through it quickly and see if it works. So ticket title. I should say this was built using Notion Forms as well, if you want to go check it out. So ticket title, let's say this is a new ticket. Product, team workflow template. That's the only product we've got in there at the moment. Description, seeing if this works. Ticket type. So this bit is a multi-select and what I have found is you can click on obviously multiple things but you can't click off of it which is quite annoying so I've and you can't press escape either the only way to get off of it is to click in a different cell bit annoying but hopefully hopefully notion forms will fix that priority we'll set this to a p2 because it says p1s only for complete outages and the due date let's set this due for today and then the email address me at notiondad.com. Now what I've added at the bottom here is table below shows all client tickets that are not started. So when I hit submit on this, it's going to give me a message saying thank you for raising a ticket with us. We'll get right on it and update you with any new information. And then you can click that button raise a new ticket if they wanted to raise multiple tickets for different products. And there we go, it's appeared. So new ticket, seeing this works, we can now assign it to people. I've locked the page, that's why nothing's showing up there. We can assign it to people, we can change the priority, set the progress overview, and do all of that stuff. If I unlock the page, there we go. Set that to not started. And then we can assign it to a sprint and do whatever we want to do with it. But there we go, we have got a ticket in our master ticket database that was raised by a client. So this has been added to my team workflow and project planning template and I hope it's adding some value for people who have already downloaded it um, this is something that you could add on and for people who haven't downloaded it I hope this encourages you to go check it out thanks